Daniel Sagers. Richard Green has a long tradition of dealing in Dutch and Flemish flower paintings, a genre that is right at the heart of Tifat Maastricht. This exquisite still life by the Antwerp artist, Daniel Sagers, made around 1640, is one of my favorite works currently in our gallery. I love its simplicity, its luscious brushwork, the colors which are jewel bright but never gaudy. Sagers is a fascinating character. He trained with the pioneering flower painter Jan Bruegel the Elder, but later became a Jesuit priest spending some time in Rome. The Jesuit order let him continue his profession as an artist and he became celebrated across Europe. The order frequently used his paintings as diplomatic gifts, sending them especially to Protestant rulers as a gentle reminder of the cultural superiority of the Catholic Church. One entered Charles I of England's collection. The polymath, Constantine Huygens, secretary to the Dutch Stadtholders, swapped poems and recipes for paints with Sagers. The princes of the House of Orange sent him a gilded palette and gilded brushes. As a Jesuit, who had taken a vow of poverty, he was not allowed to receive money for his work. This painting employs Sagers' characteristic dark background, against which the flowers glow. They are species which would have been found in gentlemen's gardens in Antwerp. The tulip, with its wonderful flame pattern, was especially treasured. Indeed, the trading of tulip bulbs had sparked an investment bubble and crash only a few years previously. Sagers' blooms have a pristine beauty. They twist in space and catch the light. If you look closely at the hyacinth flowers, you can see that Sagers creates a feeling of three-dimensionality by juxtaposing thick white brushstrokes with grey shadows. The painting is both delicate and wonderfully bold. Sagers' 17th century audience would have expected some symbolism in a flower painting such as this. The roses and the iris, or fleur de lis, were associated with the Virgin Mary. The carnation at the centre of the painting came to have associations with the divine love revealed by the incarnation. Butterflies often stand for the soul. Here, the red admiral butterfly hanging from the white rose is, I think, one of the loveliest things in the composition. It's so fragile, so exquisitely observed, so full of life. The gap between the 17th century Jesuit artist and us closes in an instant. We are part of the same humanity and we are guardians of a beautiful, irreplaceable world.